am I? Where are the others? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. So far. So far? I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense. Now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking! Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... you're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of hers. Untie my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them! Watch your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. Uh, you fucker! Let me... let me go! No one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though. Since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here! I'll rip you all apart! Every last one of you should have done that before the war! But I'll get you now! Burn this Now we'll be full again! Good. Got you, bastard! The government! Artyom! Remains! Here. Colonel, sir. I think that's enough. Thank you, son. But it is not. We have to get... But first, we must find Anna. I'm sorry. I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot! Stop the elevator up! Ready! Elevator on the sir. move! ETA, we get five minutes! Cover. Yes, sir! Well done! We can hold up for that long! Right in front of eyes! I got a treat for you here, you damn... Hit the left, motherfuckers!
Retreat! Just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Let's go! It's me!
Shoot them! What the fuck? But there was meat. Meat, you see? Meat got away! And we can Meat! There's tasty meat here! And we can't get the other one too hot! Well, well. Ah! Ah!
Artyom, I knew! <laughs> Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just... Freeze! Yes, yes! The, Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now! Uh, remember what I told you! There was an ex... Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. Anna, are you okay? Where are you? In the sick bay. Artyom found me. Let's go! Not too fast, though. I need to catch my breath a bit. This whole situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volga. And that Silentius with his damned fanatics. <sighs> but no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have got killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. that have made me, <coughs> like the Watchers in Moscow. Those keep people underground with their deceit. But these... 
All right, but what do we do Holy now? Damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs. All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> Are you going to drag us to some other bunker now? I don't know, Anna. We have to make the decision to get Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving! One moment, I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out. It really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't? <laughs> of course not. All the more reason to strive and spend more time of what is allowed to me with that guy over there. I've grown attached to him. <laughs> that I understand. Looks like this place is completely over. Time to go find the real government bunker, I guess. Oh, to think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good, but how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites! What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? 
There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then! <coughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. Like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. Uh, the others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. <sighs> Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find that damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. Uh, I see. We'll need to address that, too. Anna, Damir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. We'll do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? Artyom, I've got something for you. Are you going out? Look here, then. This is something I finished just now. Well, I hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Well, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple.
made a mistake coming here. Help digging yourself out? No. Come out then. <laughs> so, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. <laughs> in my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. <laughs> Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center should have them. <laughs> I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya!
I kill you now! You killed my enemies, so I think you're a friend! Doors blocked! Wait till I lower the lift! Are you Artyom? Come in. Whoever kills the Moon Eye by Lair is my friend. The Moon Eye by Lair, as we call them. Turned my people into slaves. Wanted to put me in shackles too. <laughs> Better death. Your man helped me. I mean you're dead. 
But why are you here? For five years, nobody would come here save for Moon Eye by Lair. Kill. What do you know of the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. Abandoned? Q, we helped you. So could you help us in return by leaving our man inside? Good. I will help. Ordu, you have to find the archive. It should be near the command center. Look for shots taken after the war, starting with the year 2013. The Mir will soon be there. You can count on him. Miller, over and out. If we go, we'd better go now. Before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart. But you do not have choice. Ready? No? Make haste then, we don't have much time. Before war, this place was beautiful. See, I was five then. My mom was young. Alive. Now it's just desert. All the beasts changed into freaks. And people became beasts. My people became chattel. Not by themselves. The oil dogs made them. The oil stayed even though the sea dried out. Old people died. Only the young remained. And they all obey their masters now. The Munai by Lair say they're gods of fire now. And the young believe. Five years after the war, my mother died. I was all alone. I know how to open the door, so I've been there. But I never went deep. There are spiders. <laughs> See? See the passage? You go through. I'll follow. The power's long gone. We need to turn it on to open the gate. The door won't open till we get the power on.
Go down there, then take the left turn. There's a narrow passage there. I'll stay here. Someone must keep the power going. If you see Mom's picture, bring it. I'll be thankful to you as long as I live.
The lift did its job. have the maps, so we have to take them back to the Colonel. By the way, I, I brought your car. It's at the dock. It's amazing the lift still works with all the cracks in the bunker. Mother told me they had to repair many times, and other things too. me. Thank you, Artyom. This is for you. Father gave it to me when I was little. Damir says there's a little girl on your train. Give it to her. May it bring her luck. You people are lucky. Most of the Malay are raiding all of their troops. If they were all here, you'd be dead already. But now, we have a chance to change this. Ah, Munai Bailer. Translates to something like oil-rich people. Oil drillers, I guess. Listen to me. I'll tell you where to go now. When outside, go right. The road there used to lead to the sea. To port. Anna should be around there. Contact her. She probably found something interesting. Well, see ya. such luxury back in Moscow. Still, this place is too hot. I feel I'm coming down soon, like Stepan. 
In any case, here's what I learned. See that crane at the dock? There is someone in the cabin. Can't see him that well, but I think he noticed me as soon as I arrived. That seems like a great spot to keep tabs on our base, so you should check it out. Look at that cracked ship now. The largest one, closest to the water. See? Well, it's not cracked, but rather carefully dismantled. I saw trucks carrying cages arrive at that boat. Looks like this is where the bandits keep their prisoners. There's that building over there, past the port. Looks like an air control tower, but I'm not sure. In any case, there should be a lot of equipment there. Something might come in handy. Oh, I see you got the maps. You and Amir did a great job there. Boys, this Where is that fucker?
about this place. It's just great, I say. I wish there was some assholes. There he is, that fucker! This fucker is here, for sure. I'm gonna find him and- Our guys just got motherfucking owned! What that? Fucking bitch! That bitch is there! Why are you down like that, man? What's your gun? One of ours! Ah. The fuckers got him! Chicken piece of shit! Did you drown in the shitter or what? Listen up, everyone! The Baron is about to speak! Listen up, everyone! The Baron is speaking! We live in interesting times, gentlemen. Hey, guys, what is it down there? Down there! Guys, we're getting That's fucking trout! I did call them out on it, but they kept denying it. The thing is, some boys saw the the fuckers got him! So you must stay alert. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken. Down there, that's where he was hiding. Hey, boys, go turn the fuckers down there. The motherfucker is here!
that piece of shit fall on us? Nah. Hey guys, there really is something in the past, so is it just me? There's the bitch!
people. What's down there? Listen up, boys! This fucker is still around! Find him before he scraps! Oh, there he is! There he is! That fucker! Up there! Look! Fucking reloading! Just keep cool. I gave up.
Listen up, everyone. The Baron is about to speak. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. All right. I hear a few words on the canyon near the spring where the stray tribals attacked our boys. Ivan, is my word nothing more than an asswipe to you? It was good that the slaves used to multiply there without us lifting a finger. But you should have harvested before they went rabbit. And what do we have now? Tribals attacking the gods of fire! But that means extermination! My word. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken. Inside! A full tank Are you? I have the mirror on the line here, so take a seat. I'll be with you soon. What a storm! And made of sand, no less! Ah, oh, damn the sand to me! Alright, Miller, over and out. You got them? Great job, Artyom! Great news! Artyom got the maps! Well done, Artyom! Idiot! Get started with these. I'll join you later. Here. There's a lot Have of a data. The sooner we analyze it, the better. We have the maps. Now we have to find a way out of this place. And that's the hard part. We need water for the Aurora and the crew. People are going down with dehydration already. It's only getting worse. We also need fuel. The local bandits have it all. I had already contacted their so-called Baron. But his terms proved to be... unacceptable. He'll told us where they get the water, but naturally, the well is guarded. The mirror reconned to the place, and says we could infiltrate it stealthily. So, Artyom, when you're ready, go rendezvous with the mirror. Your goal is to bring water to the Aurora. Failure is not an option. Good luck, Artyom. I... We are all counting on you. Artyom, while you were out, I finished making one more thing for the Tihar. The, the workbench is at your over. service. I'll go back to the port. Perfect. What have you got, idiot? What can I say? We clearly didn't come here in vain. Got it all figured out? Sure seems so. The radiation levels are plotted in color. Ha! They even have the radiation level dynamics here! When is it from? Hmm... Yeah, a bit old. Well, let's hope the situation didn't deteriorate since then. Which maps have we got? Central Asia, Western Siberia, the Urals... The European part of the country. Aha, I see. Yeah. No Far East. Weird. I see two options here. Either the Far East was out of the satellite center area... Or... Yeah, so or somebody snatched all the maps out? of the East Should before us. With all this oil I figure the Holy Flame would be pretty happy with them.
squad. The better. No, 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 no. Piss off. Sure, sure, sure. I don't. I don't want everyone. Let the boys have some sleep. They have stuff to do tomorrow. It's that piece of shit corner. I kind of. <laughs> yes, it's him that I want. No, that one, that comic would do too. Yes, you'll do. You, the asshole driving around in our car, killing my boy. You, motherfucker, listen to me. So you keep driving around looking at how we live. So how, how do you find me? You probably think that we are tyrants, beasts even. And you are some kind of hero, are you, huh? Liberating the oppressed with that you, the witch. The but I see you're not a complete idiot. So you do understand, well, you, deep down. you do understand. There is no other way. As you might suspect, we're beast. approaching the spring through the back door. Beast. You just let the man run free, and it's a murder spree. Gil says lots of people used to live in these caves. Uh, there was basically a real town. But then the geysers opened up and they all had to flee. Let's go! <gasps> well, the bridges are burnt now. Let's climb a bit higher to get a better look around. The cave isn't going anywhere. Wow, that's some noise. What's that? Huh? Ah, shaitan! Stupid bats. Yeah, this place is totaled. When setting out, I kind of had hopes of finding something about my people, if not my relatives. But now I find out. And it hurts. Steady, steady. Aha! Uh -huh. Right at the entrance. Get ready to filters and other gear. I have this feeling, a vaguely unnerving one. Well, to hell with the feelings. Here, let me give you a boost. Wait, Arjun, masks on. 
So, the war really did put people back into the Stone Age. Cave, paintings and all. Ah, oh, they toughed it out here for some time. I wish we'd gotten here earlier. Damn! A cave-in! We're in luck though, there's still some space left. These are done for too. Now we cross the bridge and head right. <sighs> Looks like we're almost out. Follow me! <sighs> I 
The passage to the spring. Let's go. Another cave in. My filter's almost done for. Look, light! Here! Well, the air seems alright. Masks off. Well, it's a crawl from here on. Gil says the locals follow every word the oilmen say. So turn your torch off, Artyom. It's a dead giveaway. Let's try to do it quietly, without the unnecessary bloodshed. The slaves are innocent. Look, what is that car? I'll move there and hide behind it. The gate is controlled from that tower. When you open it, I'll rush the car through and you leap atop the tank. Good luck, and try not to kill anyone but the oilmen, alright?
Well, we finally lost them. Well, at least we didn't hurt the slaves. <sighs> Looks like they aren't giving chase. Time to get back to the Aurora. You tired? No wonder. All right, brother. Have some rest. Give you cover. I'm out. Reloading. I'm gonna give them some.
Oh, we showed them all right, didn't we? Yes, we did. The thing is, their army is in a massive raid now. And this is just... Hmm, the Baron sending his regards. How many of them are there? 700, I think. Whoa. Yeah, we locked out here. And we'd better not overstay our welcome. We won't get far burning twigs. Five clicks at best. The dogs have fuel. Lots of it. A full tanker carriage on the rails. If we open gate quietly, we can steal it. They shouldn't have many guards now. Can you guide our men? I can. Let's get to business then. Yermak, Crest, you prepare the Aurora. Finish filling the boiler with water and drain the car's tanks. Artyom, Damir, you get the most important part. Stealing that tank. Yes, sir. Good luck, gentlemen. Anna, idiot, Tokarev, we're breaking camp, people. Don't forget to check your gear and prepare before you set out. Maybe we could still negotiate with them. I tried that already. No dice. He takes a spin. Artyom, we took a look around. The main gate is guarded by a skeleton crew. You cannot go through gate. 
Go through the prison cellar where the Munai Bailer keep the slaves. Uh, <laughs> yes. In any case, the plan is this. Gul and I will try to take their guards down quietly and get in through the gate. If quiet does not work out, we will at least distract them, while you get in through the underground. <sighs> Let's go. We'll walk with you. Don't lag behind. I have a favor to ask. If possible, don't kill the slaves. They're not... They just obey the Manai by Lair. Obey the Baron. They're afraid, that's all. Gul is right about the locals. Here. This place. They're just kids, and all have been under brainwashing for ages. So we probably should take pity on them. So, a great? Well, let's do this. All right, I'll raise it and you get through. Nobody go, nobody fool. We stand here, all day here. You suck. Better go hunt, find some food, make slave, oh, more use that way. Where's that? Put there. It is enemy. Now, it is enemy. Now is for sure. This good place. No medicine, no trouble. <laughs> Fuck! You work or you go after dog! <laughs> Please, 
for nothing. I have good news. Look, the tank is full. Just what we need. Um, there is also bad news. The gate is locked and we can't take it out. Colonel, sir, Tamir here. We have secured the tank, but encountered a, a problem with the gate. Copy that. We're going with plan B, then. Act accordingly. See, the, the cable gate. connects the gate and the top of the tower. How do we get there, though? Oh, it looks like a veritable fortress. Gentlemen, surely you're not seriously intending to attack our fortress. I do respect your courage, but simply throwing your lives away, it's such a waste. Who is in charge between you two? Come up here. We have things to discuss. Just you listen to that bastard talk. A complete about-face. And we did throw a wretched into his plans big time. Point the gun down and come up. Otherwise we'll have a pointless bloodbath on our hands. Open the gate and let our guests in! Look, look at that guy. Come up! We won't even touch you! Unless you really ask for it. Mm, I don't like yep, this, but Look at that there is no other way. If we don't get out of this desert, we we're as good as what dead. What the fuck are you saying? If I fucking you, hear one more word about, about that bitch girl, well, I'll do get what over here. To talk with them about. Go around them stinkers and just get to the next no, floor. There's too many of them to count. And the boss hates oh, stench. Why the Don't you fucking it catch it from me? So you do it with your eyes. You must be one of the dream gang. Uh, a penthouse. Just, just you take a fucking movie. look at the beauty of it. Well, you just it's fucking like pull it! Put your back into it! it. Why the fuck did we feed you yesterday? Yeah, I'm sorry, master. I knew yeah, slave was not on purpose. purpose. Shut up! That one should got fired over his stupidity! Fuck me, are they dumb? Third one is weak. Come on! What's taking so long? Standing around, as if anyone is going to attack. Come over here already! Yes, you fucking look at that. The whore drank Master's water. 
gonna give her a lesson. Uh, me, come on, up the ladder with you. You're the boss don't like waiting. It's one of the few arrivals. Come to meet the boss here. They did that What's the the boys did, and now think the boss is gonna let them off the hook. Yeah, hey, you sure that this. you're alive. Hey, pretty boy. Did you come from afar? Did you expect a different reception? <laughs> Bolster your weapons. Here we can talk without the masks. I trust everyone present implicitly. You find it weird they're not really bothered by your little mischief. Well, you see, this world is a harsh and chaotic one. I'm just doing my best to introduce a little order into it. Without which there is no hope for something better in the future. Then with no hope, you can't live. But let us cut to the chase. You definitely did not come here to enjoy the scenery. Ergo, you have a goal. And that goal is probably far from here. I respect people with their purpose in life. So, I am ready to provide you with fuel for your journey. I'm not asking for much in return. Surrender Gyul to me. Bring her to me, and we all win. I have Gyul, you will have your fuel. Everyone gets to live long and prosper. Now. The Chikara has come for you. You'll answer for everything. He walked it from the other side. The coward. Do you think I am a fool? You didn't want to see it. Now you will all die. Starting with you, Gyo! Kill them! Why doesn't he speak anymore? Artyom, I'll go in before that dog runs away. I'll catch him and open the door for you. Hold on!
to create a new world with this? Not happening! You're misguided at the time! I got her! Take the Baron! It's the strongest who survives! You gave my people hope. I'll never forget it. But this war has only started for me, and I must see it to the end. The winning end. Artyom, your dream led us here, but it won't help my people. This war is mine now, too. Go, Artyom. Follow your dream. I was so worried. Fanatics on the banks of Volga. Cannibals in the mountain bunker. Slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps, were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves, and now we're stuck with them forever. Will Damir, who stayed in the desert to help Gyul lead their people to freedom, beat another monster. The inertia of thought, that had been keeping the subjugated locals in willing and ready servitude to tyrants? Frankly, I have doubts. That monster might prove stronger than all the others. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We're getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently, though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Coughing. We've left those sands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. 
I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. What do you know? <laughs> Everything is perfect, Artyom. Follow us. This is great! <laughs> Good job! Come on, guys, give it your own! Is it Foxtrot? <laughs> this <laughs> is. What's Take the word? Oh, yes, yeah. Kuto! <laughs> you guys are just so the best! That was a great laugh! Thank you, boys! Oh, that was a nonsense! Put someone nearby! You have lots of hidden talents. Katya, <laughs> I've kept silent for too long, but now I simply must talk. I have to warn you about Stepan. He is incredible. What did I miss? Disgusting. You should have seen them dance. Nice Could hearted. you worry? You'll yes, get another chance. Indeed. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. Duke. Damir. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is a river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations! Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 Yet, uh, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, rings! Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you, I take you to, to be, be my, my spouse. spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better you from this day forward, for, worse, for better or for worse. worse. For richer, <coughs> for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness in and, and in health. health. To love and to cherish to and until to death do us part. To us part. As the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 Anna, what's happening? Be careful, people! Anna, please hold on to What's happening? What is it, Anna? What's that cough? Gotcha. Do something, please! Don't this harm her! Give her air! Damn. <sighs> I'm 
I'm sorry, I didn't say anything. What are you talking about, baby? In the Yamantau, when they dragged me away, that ghoul doctor said my lungs were falling apart. The gas I breathed in that ammo dump so How I can you believe that monster? We've just been through a desert and all that sand, so that might be the reason. Katya, Artyom, a few words. I'm all right, Artyom. Go. I'm fine now. I don't know about this. The old man is furious. Oh, Artyom's getting chewed out today. So, son, care to tell me what do we know, do please. now? Let us not panic and think constructively. So, Katya, what do you think? I think that trusting some degenerate's diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, long. I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it my been My thoughts gas. exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed out some blood. My god. Do you really think it's the sand? Sounds more like TB to me, that's for sure. TB we can handle. We've got enough antibiotics, and air does help with that. But what if... What if that degenerate was right, Katya? What do we do? Is there a medicine? There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drug. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's records and find its name. I think it was produced in Novosibirsk. Right, Novosibirsk. Yermak, your opinion. For Anna's sake, I'd go to the edges of the earth. As for Novosibirsk, it's about 2,000 clicks. Then it's decided. We head for the valley. If it is suitable, we settle there. If Anna's state worsens, I'll take a group of volunteers to find that drug. So Katya, please, find that name for I'll us. I'll find it, don't worry. One more thing, Artyom. I want no surprises in that valley. You are our most seasoned scout. So take the rail car, one volunteer, and go check everything out before we arrive. Let's go back for now. Tell Anna and the people to calm down. Poor girl. Now I understand why she was so dumb. I can't say I've ever been religious. But right now I'm begging all gods. Please, watch over Anna. And make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there. Though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission. Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this valley. Take air for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't just cure Anna. It'll make Gurnal grow his feet back. Damn, this is one bumpy ride. The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Aurora here. Reading you loud and clear. Over. Colonel, sir. This track won't hold the Aurora. Take the main one. Over. 
The general situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, Anna is sure to love it here. Over. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Carry on. Aurora, over and up. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for one. Yeah! 